Thursday and I just got ready. I had my green smoothie this morning, so I am completely energized and I am literally ready to go tackle my storage room. I have a head start because I started on that last weekend and made a huge dent, huge, 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 huge. But there's a lot more I still have to do and I am determined to get it done today so I can check it off the done list. You know, check it off and say, now done. before I go down there, I wanna to touch base on something very briefly not because I need to or have to, it's because I want to. So some of the last videos I've done, I've been seeing a lot of people saying, Liz, I can tell you're so sad, or Liz, I can tell your heart is breaking, you know, leaving this house, or, you know, Liz, that new house is gonna be the biggest mistake of your life. You're gonna be, it's gonna be a huge regret so on your part. So we heart. will miss this house. It's been a wonderful house to live in. We've loved, the land and just so many things. But as I've told you guys before, we have moved so much that once we stay in a place for two to four years, we are bored to death and ready for the next adventure. And so anyway, as much as we've loved it here, I can't sleep at night because I'm so excited about the next house and my husband is the same way. So please don't be sad for me. I'm not sad in the slightest, I'm not. I am sure once we are gone, I will miss certain things about this house, like the beautiful staircase and the, the uh, diagonal box beam ceiling. And I will, miss, I will miss my backyard and the deck and the spa the most. But other than that, I am ready for a completely different style, a completely different house. And I want to simplify. That is one thing I've learned in this house and also having a YouTube channel is I think I was closing myself in with all that decor and I started to get antsy about it. Like it's just too much. Now that I've gotten rid of so much of it and I'm ready to go with a different, more simplified style, I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to take you guys along. Um, the adventure with us. Anyway, I am ready to get moving and shaking. I'm gonna go put some music on down there, grab a coffee, and I'm gonna get her done. Done. Also too, please nobody feel sorry for me for um, all the packing I have to do. I actually thrive on this stuff, you guys. I'm, I'm weird that way, I'm telling you. Down in the basement and I sold my table that I made. That was exciting. I sold the furniture that was here. And uh, yeah, now I'm about to go in my storage room. Gotta get some lights on down here though. Look at all these boxes, guys. So in here, you can see a lot has been done. It's a mess, real life. Look at all this that I got packed away. And this is the remnants of what is left to pack got lanterns, um, just, you know, Christmas stuff. I got to put away. I've got to get these in boxes. Check out all the home decor that is gone. Like I said, I've got to pack all this stuff. And check this out. I got to pack all these lamps. Um, these are all my flameless flickering candles that I love so much. Um, I didn't want those to melt in a storage shed or on a truck, so I'm gonna take these with me. You can see all the decor that's gone. All these storage shelves were taken out uh, and I've gotta pack all this. So I've made huge headway in here, but um, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and then I gotta take these lights down. I'm gonna grab a, a wardrobe box and I'm gonna take it to the room and I'm gonna start packing my lamps and lampshades. I think it'll be an easier way to get that done. So what I'm doing is I've got my wardrobe box here. I'm gonna take the lampshades off and then I'm gonna pile these all in to the wardrobe box. That's, it's gonna be a space saver if I do it this way.
my box is pretty full. It's not to the rim or anything like that. But because it's getting heavy, I don't want to load it down so that the guys are like dying because this is so heavy. So what I'm going to do is with my leftover space right here, I'm going to add some lampshades. So you can see um, I've got a lot of lamps in there, lamp bases. But now I think I can start putting some of these in because these are lightweight. I don't have time for bubble wrap and tissue and all that. I've done so many moves and this is how I've always done my lamps and occasionally one, maybe two will get broken, but um, I'm not concerned. I'm just not. Lampshades, I'm just gonna put whatever fits in here. as good as it's gonna get and as you can see I'll be able to shut it no problem and done so I just got another storage box and I'm gonna go to the other side of my storage room and go grab my other lamps and get this all done it's called the lamp garden I've got a ton of lamps and you know what I always say let there be light so I always take um, this part off the lamp, right? And then these go in the storage box. And then when I'm done, I can put all the lamp shades on the top. Friday. I I think I got up around 4 30 this morning because I had getting my storage room done on my mind and so I traipsed down the stairs in my jammies I got myself some coffee I sat down watched a couple YouTube videos I came down here put some music on the house was quiet and I got to work and you guys will see all these boxes and there's, well, there's a whole bunch over there. And all these right here, packed by yours truly. I'm telling you guys, I worked, I was a woman on a mission. And like I said, because we've moved so many times, I know exactly the process, what to do to kick it out quickly. And um, I'm so happy. This is like a huge weight off my shoulders. All right, I'm gonna take you into the storage room be prepared to be shocked. After this clip, I'm gonna throw up some pictures of what it used to look like before I got started.
Let's go in. Do you guys remember all the shelves that used to line this wall? Some of them are out. Um, all of this is gonna go, but you can see there's hardly any decor left. Right here, I, I sent my daughter to get some wardrobe boxes because I need something big where I can stack those. And then over here, this was all my seasonal stuff. So I had all of my fall here, Christmas was there and over here. Now over here, believe it or not, that's all Christmas in boxes like Christmas trees, ornaments, all that jazz. Now over here, you may remember, see I've still got the sign up there. It says Autumn Garlands. Um, they used to hang from these little hooks. So I had all my garlands organized. And then down below, you may remember, I had baskets um, right here and on the floor. And I called it my floral shop because I had all my fall florals right there. Those are all packed away, but can you guys see the progress I've made? I'm so proud of myself and I did it all by myself. My husband kept wanting my daughters to help me, but which was very sweet, but I'm very particular about the way I pack things. And so I wanted to do it myself. And then you guys may remember over there, I used to have all my pillows and, and then, you know, I had my lanterns and candle holders all up there. It's all gone, guys. It's all gone. I still need to pack those. Well guys, it's, it's pretty much all gone down here. And you know when I started this video and I said I wouldn't be sad about leaving this house, um, that I would miss certain things, but I wouldn't be sad. I have to admit that when I finished this morning and I stood back and I looked at everything gone, I did get a little sad, I did. Only because this has been a really fun place for me to uh, be creative and play and just have fun decorating this house and you know at the end of the day when everybody comes home and we gather as a family I do feel a sense of accomplishment when the house looks warm and cozy and clean so this this is my little hobby this 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 is my outlet and I will miss it I will so many of you have asked, are you going to have another storage room at your new house for your home store? And the answer is yes. In fact, there are two unfinished areas in the basement. And when I first went down there, I told my husband, I said, oh, this is perfect. I can have separation between my everyday decor and my seasonal decor. So over on this side will be my everyday decor. And on that side will be like my fall, Easter, Christmas, and so forth. And he said, um, not so fast. And I said, why? What, what are you planning? He said, well, the room over there next to that storage room is going to be my office. And he said, I want to take the wall down. I want to make it a huge room. I said, well, what for? He said, I want to make 
at my office and then my sound room. He's an audiophile, so he's into records and audio and music and all that. And so I I stood back, I, probably with disappointment on my face, I will admit. But then I thought about it and I thought, that's his hobby. He's into audio, video, all that kind of stuff. That's his hobby and decorating is my hobby. So we have to merge the two, we just have to. You know, marriage is about give and take and teamwork. And so he'll have his hobby on one side and my hobby will be on the other. So it's the perfect mix. It, it won't be such a bad gig after all because while I'm in my little storage room doing my thing, I can say, hey, play me some music, you know, to get me inspired. It's a win-win. All right, friends, that's going to wrap up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, it's just the process of moving. And um, next week, I will be upstairs on the main floor taking stuff off the wall and packing the kitchen up. So stay tuned. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Have a fabulous weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.